radius and diameter dimensions. Let's go ahead and open up this project file named Practice Dimensioning. You can do that by opening a new file and browsing to your chapter 9 and opening up Practice Dimensioning. You can find the radius and diameter dimensioning commands within the annotation panel here or go to annotate tab and here you can find radius and diameter as well. I'll go ahead and select radius for now and instead of choosing the obvious circles over here I'm gonna go ahead and choose these radiuses right here these curved fillets. I'll go ahead and select this and I can go ahead and pull out to the left I'll place that. And as you can see here's the center point for my radius. I'll select that one more time. I'll choose this point here and pull it out as well. Again, I reactivate the command, select, and place. Now let's see what it does for the circle. Again, select and place, which isn't too different from doing these curved arcs over here. Well, now let's go ahead and try the diameter. I'll select the diameter, select the circle, and again, place my point. One more time, select the diameter command, select this circle here, and I will place this one inside. Typically you should place your dimensions outside of your design, but for now we're just learning how to use the commands in general. A few, th a few things you'll notice about these commands is that the radius and the diameter will both place a point across here where the actual center of your circle or radius is or originating from. You'll also notice that a radius will have an R in the front of it, and the diameter will have the circle with a slash going through to represent the diameter. Circles, you'll typically always give a diameter. Arcs, you'll typically give a radius. Let's go ahead and give a radius to this curve right here. Select the radius command. I'll add the dimension. I'll place it way over here on the outside pan over and it looks like all of my curved edges have a radius. I will double click to put everything into view and one thing that you can do is if you have all these radiuses which are the same value which I have of three we'll learn how to edit these and maybe add a typical to our radius dimension so that way we know each of these curves is typically three units of radius. That way we won't have to continually add a radius here, a radius here, here, and here. Any way you can alleviate yourself from adding additional work is a huge benefit.